I'm gonna show you one of the easiest garage studio setups. My name is Pai, and I'm one of the founders of Lynn and Jersa Photography and SLRLounge.com. We're teaming up with Adorama to bring you a new series of photography tutorials called Master Your Craft right here on Adorama TV. So let's dive in. So look, the sun is coming in from this kind of nice, relatively high point in the sky where we still have some direction, but it's still up there a bit, right? I'm gonna place this apple box right here. Go ahead, Chelsea, and have a seat right here. What you're gonna notice is a couple different things are happening. See, the light's coming in from the background, so we get this beautiful hair light on Chelsea. You're also gonna notice, Anthony, check out this wall right here. So, Anthony's our behind the scenes person right now. Hey, Anthony. So this wall that's catching sunlight acts as this beautiful fill. And so when you look at Chelsea's face, you can see how there's a direction of light right here. It's because it's coming from that wall. So I'm gonna shoot this image and you're gonna see that it's already looking very nice in terms of overall image quality, everything, uh, lighting, all that kind of stuff. So let's do this. So it's a 1 500 of a second at F2. I wanna keep this around F2 so I have some nice depth between her and the background. And we're gonna go 100 ISO. Okay, so we get this really great shot. Uh, well, she looks great, the light looks beautiful, the setup is fantastic, but obviously the background is not quite there. Now, this is such a simple thing, but you're gonna see once we do this one thing, the image is gonna completely transform. All I'm gonna do is bring into the shot this backdrop. Now this is a hand-painted backdrop, and I, I know that most of us are used to probably seeing hand-painted backdrops like this cost, I don't know, 500,000 bucks, whatever it might be, but they can be quite a bit more affordable. In fact, this one's by Backdrops by Alex. I bought this for like 200 bucks, and I'm not being sponsored to say this. If he just does great work, it's very affordable, and I wanna give him a shout out, which I have done before. So with this in place, I'm gonna make sure I can still see the hair light. So it's gonna be just far enough back that I still see the hair light. And then you're gonna to wanna to brace this just because, uh, well, it can get a little bit windy. So I'm gonna go ahead and brace this setup. Now I'm gonna take that exact same shot again. I want you to see this scene completely transform. I've got so many objects in my garage that are hazardous to my health apparently. Okay, so let's look at the previous composition. All right, let's match that or at least get close to it. Beautiful. Okay, now this is what's crazy. It looks like we have set up a full-on studio, but this is just natural light. Now I'm gonna tell Chelsea, okay, Chelsea, your main light is that wall, so kind of keep your chin always angled toward that side. Chelsea, I want you to pull all the hair to this side, leaving just a little bit of that backlight on your back. Perfect. Okay, bring the chin over to the wall. That's it right there. Now let's go ahead and move with it. Love it. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Bring all the hair around again to that side, that kind of cleaned up side. Now the reason that we're doing this too is because we have our hair against a dark background, so flyaways on this side are gonna really stand out because of that backlighting. So I'm having her bring most of the hair to that side, so that way we kind of just get a nice clean hair light on this side, and I love that. I want you to bring both hands up. Yes. Now bring that other hand, yes, 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 yes. Love that. Beautiful. Love it. Coming close. So a studio setup can be really accessible. This is something that every one of you can do in your home. Now, if you don't have a backdrop quite yet and you're not ready to invest in one, get a sheet of cloth. You guys can go to the cloth store, grab a black sheet, grab a white sheet, grab a bed sheet. Any of those things will work as well. But take these techniques and go have fun with them. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, don't forget to follow Chelsea. We'll link her up as well in the video. Cool. See you guys.